help us explain tough concepts and they grab our attention. But most importantly, in the DevOps community, they support a key principle, empathy. As it turns out, empathy can be achieved in pictures because we can use pictures to see and communicate what we want to achieve, what obstacles we need to overcome, and where we want to go. You see, in DevOps, we're the lucky ones. We get to design our future. We get to design the future of our organizations and how they work and how we want them to evolve. And within DevOps, when you draw a picture, you can see where work begins, where it ends, where it intersects with other work, where it's most efficient and where it's least efficient. And when we don't like that picture, we can change it. We can streamline it and make it more efficient. We can help people see where the work is going and where we want them to collaborate and what the end point of that work is. You see, most of us in this room, we're visual learners, right? So when you see a picture, you can grasp the concepts very quickly and understand what it's trying to communicate and what story it's trying to tell. And when you put a picture at the center of the conversation, it's less about who screwed up, but maybe we actually have the wrong picture. Maybe we want to improve it. So when you look at a DevOps or continuous delivery reference architecture, you can begin to see how the work is being done. What's automated within tools? What's human-centric? How does this reflect the work that's going on within my own organization and what choices I'm making? And for this reason, I put together a set of continuous delivery and uh, DevOps reference architectures that we can all learn from. And I put those on SlideShare, um, if the, uh, the deck is still going. Okay, we'll see if the timing continues. We should plug that in. Um, I don't know if we're stalled here or, okay, I'm, I'm going. Okay, so these have been viewed 98,000 times on SlideShare in the past year or so. And I'm going to make them all available to all of you. And within these decks, we can see organizations like PayPal. We can see the hybrid cloud environment that they've produced and what they put on premises and what they put in the cloud and how that reflected their organizational decisions. We can also see different people that have put together reference architectures with open source applications. And these applications trying to see, can I build this for free? Does it cost me anything to operate if I choose these tools to put together? And some of the, the pictures within the deck are relatively simple, but others are more complex. And they show us every step of work along the way. What are the feedback loops? What are the communication patterns? And what work is being done at the different points throughout the, the environment? We can also see some commonalities in the tools, whether that's Rundeck or Puppet or Chef or Subversion within these uh, environments or Nexus or Vagrant. You'll see those commonalities. And what those commonalities help with are, does this environment look like mine? Does this look like what we want to achieve in our own organization? And how do I learn from those patterns that other people have shown and communicated? Within each of the reference architectures, there's a link at the bottom. And it shows you where the picture came from, whether it was a blog or uh, another slide deck, so that you can get the details of, if this looks like your organization, can I actually reference that or, or use that in my own company to improve our velocity, to streamline our work, or to make us more efficient? So if you want a copy of these slides, simple like before, uh, my email address, weeks at sonotype.com. There's a link to where they are on SlideShare. If you go to SlideShare and search DevOps, it's like the first or second deck that comes up. It's free to download, and you can view it like the 100,000 other people have done. More importantly, if you have a reference architecture that you can share with me, I will add it to the deck so that we can all learn from each other within the DevOps community what others have done and what they've, they've learned from. So thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, talking to you, and I'll be around for the afternoon. Thanks.